we, we have a lot of many different identities. We, you know, I'm a different person when I, I go to sleep in the evening and I wake up in the morning, I want to change identity. To, <laughs> we time. like to break people's expectations. So after you work, as I said, for several years, people expect something from you. What we try to achieve is to do something that has nothing to do with the project we have been doing in the past. This is our favorite piece in the show. We like this one because it's a big contrast between uh, fantasy and reality. The difference between uh, being human and being a character of uh, creativity. And of course we like the clock behind, which is also the title of the exhibition. It's always six o'clock. It's something that everybody would like to, to do, like stop the clock at one point. Mm -hmm. According to most people, it seems like they take for granted that a mask is, is there to hide you. You know, you put a mask in order to hide your real identity. While to me, I think that it's more like the other way around. You, you wear a mask because you want to show who you are. Because then you can, you, know, you can behave freely somehow. Yeah. And the avatars, are, I think they're here exactly for that. You can just build your own identity and, and, and be and look like and behave the way you would like to do in real life, so-called real life, that's very liberating. Reality, I mean, what's the difference between reality and fantasy? There's no difference, you cannot tell it. People pretend they can't tell the difference, and then it's crazy people that cannot tell the difference. But they think like it's the other way around. And avatars and characters and, and people from this mm, fantasy imagination, in imaginary worlds are, they come from, from something that's totally in the mind. And then the same goes with the video game. It's mediated, but it's as much real because there's pe real people involved and fantasies too. Is, isn't Mickey Mouse real, actual? Those guys is, is raising much more interest and, and money and, and, and shaping reality much more than you know, me and you together and all of the people in here and, and probably in the whole country. <laughs> Since the exhibition started, starts with Mickey, the end is again with Mickey Mouse. And um, apparently we came up with the conclusion that the first work is about like creativity and fantasy that somehow outlives a uh, human being. And this is again a sub subversion somehow of the, of the first statement of the exhibition because now we have creativity which is hanged to the ceiling and, uh, and died. Maybe the whole exhibition is about don't taking like easy interpretation as if uh, they were the right interpretation. <laughs>